the movie begins by showing Leo and Paige, a newly married couple. On a snowy night, they intended to return home after a walk together. On the way, they stopped because Paige wanted to say something, but when she was about to blurt something, their car was hit by a truck from behind, causing her to bounce and hit the windshield. The scene changed, showing Leo standing in line, but suddenly he saw a very beautiful woman passing beside him. He was interested and then chased her to the parking lot. With confidence, Leo asked her to get acquainted. Then she smiled at him and introduced herself as Paige. After that brief introduction, he invited her to eat at a restaurant. It turns out that Leo is an art student who lives independently because his parents died, while Paige ran away from home due to a family problem. One day, Leo proposed to Paige, and not long after, they got married, the wedding being held secretly in an art museum. Leo then read out the sacred wedding vows that he had written on a piece of paper, but when the event was in progress, they were all discovered by the museum guards, so they all panicked and ran out. The scene changes, showing several months after the previous accident. Paige finally wakes up from the coma, but due to the impact on her head, she is declared amnesiac and doesn't recognize Leo at all. The next day, Leo whose heart is broken when he finds out about Paige's condition. His wife, who he loves very much, doesn't remember anything about himself or their memories for the past four years. The next day, Leo was surprised when he came to the hospital because he couldn't find his wife in his treatment room. A nurse later told him that Paige had now been moved to the VIP room. When he arrived at the VIP room, it turned out that Paige's parents were already there. Her parents then asked why Leo had never told them he had married their daughter. Hearing that, he could only stay silent without being able to answer the question. There, Leo also saw Paige, who looked so close to her parents, so he realized that it turned out that her memories could only remember the old days when she lived happily with her family, but there was not even a memory of her being with Leo. After that, the doctor told them that Paige could go home tomorrow. Initially, Paige's parents intended to take her home with them, but Leo, who felt Paige was his wife, said it was better for her to come with him so that her memory could recover quickly. At night when Leo is asleep, he is awakened by a hungry Paige. He immediately took her to the hospital cafeteria, and she said she still couldn't believe that Leo was her husband. Paige also said that, as far as she remembered, she was engaged to a man named Jeremy. However, Paige's statements hurt Leo, but he did not give up and will continue trying various ways to convince his wife and make her remember him again. The next day when Paige wanted to go home and was getting ready to go with her parents, Leo came and immediately gave her a tape recording of the last time she contacted him. After hearing the audio tape, Paige was moved because her attitude towards Leo sounded very romantic, so finally, she agreed to go home with him. When they both got home, Paige was surprised that Leo had prepared a surprise for her arrival, but she felt strange to all of them. She wasn't pleased with it, so Leo was forced to send all his friends home. The next morning at breakfast, Paige asked about what activities she had been doing since living with Leo. He answered that Paige always spent her days in her studio because she was working on a project for a big company. But Paige refused when Leo wanted to take her to the studio and said she wasn't ready to go there yet. A few moments later, Leo said goodbye to go to work while giving Paige a cell phone, so she could call him if she needed anything. After Leo leaves, Paige, who feels bored at home, decides to take a walk to enjoy her new atmosphere by going to a restaurant. But when she is about to go home, she finds she has forgotten her way home and gets lost instead. Sometime later, Leo, who had just returned from work, was confused because Paige was not home. He was worried that something would happen to her and immediately went to find her. But after looking everywhere for her, he still couldn't find her. Soon after, Leo returned home, and soon Paige finally came home with a totally changed appearance. She then apologized to him because she got lost while leaving the house. Paige needed clarification about who to ask for help because she also forgot to bring the cell phone that Leo gave her. In the end, Paige borrowed someone's cell phone and contacted her mother because, at this time, all she remembered was her mother's phone number. She also said that Leo was invited to have dinner with her family. In the evening, they are getting ready to go out for dinner, then while dinner is in the making, her father asks Leo about his background. Leo then said that he was a music producer. He explained everything about his work, such as, guitar sound effects, how to make a good recording, and so on. But Paige's entire family, including her sister Gwen and her boyfriends, looked confused because they didn't fully understand what he was explaining. After dinner, Gwen and her boyfriend took her elder sister and Leo to a restaurant. At that time, Paige meets her old friends, and they talk. But in the middle of their conversation, Paige's ex-fiancé, Jeremy, arrives. Jeremy said that he was hurt when he discovered Paige was now married to Leo. His words mixed her feelings because, in her memory, she felt like she still loved Jeremy. But on the other hand, there was a man who also seemed to really love her, namely Leo. Meanwhile, Leo, who saw his wife looking at other men with eyes of love, could only be patient and try to understand her current condition. The next day, Paige is still curious about why she broke up with Jeremy and finally goes to see him at his office to ask for an explanation. Her question surprised him because he had just discovered she was amnesia. Then Jeremy took advantage of Paige's situation by saying she had dumped him the day before their engagement party. After that, she asks where their engagement ring used to be. 
but Jeremy said that he already has a girlfriend and plans to give the engagement ring to his girlfriend. After hearing his explanations, Paige feels guilty and apologizes. On the other hand, Leo said his worries to his co-worker, Lily. Sadly, he was still having a hard time dealing with the problems that befell him and Paige. Hearing this, she suggested he try doing things that he and Paige used to do. At night, when Leo had just got home from work, he saw Paige tidying up her memorable photos on the table. Paige was there saying she was trying to remember the people in the photos, but it still didn't work. Seeing his wife was frustrated, he tried to cheer her up with their old habit of tickling her body. But Paige didn't like it, and the atmosphere turned awkward, so he decided to leave. The next day, Paige, curious, finally asked Leo to take her to the studio where she worked. Leo explained her work so far when he arrived at the studio. He also said that Paige usually listens to music loudly while working. Leo then tells Paige to try to do her job again like before, but when he turns on the music, she gets annoyed and tells him to turn the music down. The scene changed, showing Leo, who had just come home from work. Paige said she would go to her parents' house to help prepare for her sister's wedding. Leo, who heard that, feared she would never return to his house. A few days later, Paige and her sister went to the hospital to check on her condition. When finished, the doctor asked for time to talk one-on-one -on -one with Paige. The doctor then explained that one of the factors why someone with amnesia like her has difficulty recalling memories is that she may be afraid to recall bad memories in the past. Therefore, the doctor advised Paige to find out about her past first. After that, she could choose which life she wanted to live in memory. Is it her memory before knowing Leo or after knowing Leo? The scene changed, showing Gwen's engagement ceremony. At that time, Leo met Paige and said that the best moments in his life were when he met and spent days with her. But because she doesn't remember all those memories, Leo plans to ask Paige to go on a date to all the places they visited. In the evening, they started dating again like they used to. Leo took Paige, starting where they first met, then to a restaurant they often visit, and last with swimming in the river. Doing all that makes her happy to spend time with Leo, even though she still can't remember anything. The scene changes, showing Paige meeting her father. There, her father told her that he had enrolled her in law school. Hearing this, Paige was very happy because now she could return to continue her education again. Sometime later on Gwen's wedding day, Leo came and saw his wife and her family looked so happy. However, in their happiness, Leo, Paige's husband, feels like he is not included in that event. In the evening, Paige's father met Leo. He said that he knew Leo had a lot of debt because his business was almost bankrupt. He said that he would help pay off Leo's debt as long as Leo wanted to divorce Paige. Hearing this, Leo felt very upset because Paige's father apparently wanted to separate them. Whereas before her amnesia, he never even contacted Paige. After that, Leo seemed to be sitting alone while thinking about Paige's father's words, but suddenly Jeremy came and made fun of him, who looked sad at Paige's younger sister's wedding because he didn't know anyone. Hearing this, Leo's anger peaked, and he immediately punched Jeremy. When Paige catches Leo messing up the party, she feels disappointed and leaves there, but he immediately chases after her. Then they argued until finally, a frustrated Leo said that, maybe Paige's memory would never return. And even though he was her husband, they would still be strangers who would never know each other. Now Leo realized that he couldn't keep forcing Paige to be with him, and with a heavy heart, he finally decided to let go of the woman he loved so much. At home, Leo tried to entertain himself by playing guitar in his music studio. Not long after, Lily came, and Leo told her he was sick of always trying to get Paige's memory back just so she wouldn't leave him. Leo felt in vain because no matter how hard he tried to impress his wife, she still couldn't possibly love him like before. In the end, he signed a divorce statement from Paige's father. A few days later, Paige was shopping when she met her old friend Diane. At that time, Diane didn't know Paige had amnesia. Afterward, she apologized for her past mistakes and having an affair with Paige's father. Her words surprised Paige because she didn't expect her friend to do that. After returning from there, Paige asked her mother about the fact she had just heard. She looks very disappointed because her own family has hidden the truth. Her mother then explained why she didn't want to tell her because she was afraid Paige would leave again like before. After that, Paige went to see Leo and asked why he didn't tell her about his father's affair first. Then she said if Leo told her about it, she probably wouldn't want to return to her parents' house and would definitely choose to stay with him. Leo, who heard this, explained that he didn't want to keep Paige away from her family, and he also wanted her to choose to live with him because she loved him, not because he wanted to run away from her family. Hearing his answer instantly moved Paige to tears. The next day, Jeremy and Paige were seen taking a walk. Jeremy then said that he had broken up with his girlfriend. Then he asked Paige to return to a relationship with him. But she refused because now she felt that she had started to like Leo. A few days later, at a park, Paige meets her father. There she said that she plans to leave law school and go to art school. She has also decided to move house and will live in an apartment in the city. Hearing this, Paige's father felt that it was because she already knew about his affair. He finally told the truth and felt very sorry and apologized. But Paige explained that the reason she left was that she wanted to find her identity. 
As time goes by, Leo and Paige lift their own lives. One day, Paige, unpacking her old stuff, found a restaurant menu with her wedding vows with Leo written on it. This made her sad, and then she visited the restaurant hoping that her memory of Leo would return. The film closes with Leo walking to his regular restaurant one snowy night. But he was disappointed when he saw the restaurant he often went to was closed. Then when he turned around, he saw Paige standing behind him, smiling. Leo was delighted and greeted Paige. She told him she had moved here and started attending art school again. Leo was glad to hear that, especially when she told him it was all thanks to him. Then Paige suggests going somewhere, and Leo thinks she has remembered something about their past. But Leo felt a bit disappointed again because it turned out that Paige didn't remember anything about them at all. Even so, they were both happy, knowing they were both still single and had not been in contact with anyone else since they separated. Finally, they decided to start their relationship all over again. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, to be sincere and loving under every circumstance.